Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we live and garden in Baltimore, Maryland Zone 7. Today I have a really fun, free project. We're gonna turn these willow branches and these bamboo branches into some really cool structures for the garden. They will be plant supports and I'm really excited about this because this project is entirely free. Come with me and let's figure out how we can make some gorgeous garden accessories out of these free materials. I have a friend who has a weeping willow tree and she and I were chatting one time and she said that she always has trouble getting rid of her cut branches or her fallen branches after storms because the recycling guys who come around and pull the yard waste out of the recycling cans, they don't like to deal with the long fronds of it. And you know, it's a pain in the booty to chop them all up and make them all shorter, etc. So I told her, well, if you ever have willow branches that you want to get rid of, let me know. I will come over and get them from you because I have ideas. I have ideas. And similarly, our next door neighbor out behind our backyard, the, the whose driveway comes up behind our backyard, they have some bamboo that some previous owner long ago erroneously planted. Or maybe it was an invasive bamboo that came into the neighborhood that nobody planted. Anyway, whatever the case, they have bamboo stands around their yard and property that they don't want. And they've been trying to get it rid of it, but they still have it. And so I asked my neighbor if I could have some of the bamboo stalks. And she said, of course, take as many as you want. So I've got, I don't know, a dozen, 15 stalks or so of varying widths and heights. And I'm gonna take these back home and see what I can do with them. Fun times. So I have free bamboo stalks. I have free willow branches, and I am gonna make some plant supports out of these materials. Now, this is an age old art form, craft form. I have never done this before, but for thousands of years, people have been making plant supports out of natural materials like this. So I'm just gonna give this a try. We're gonna to learn together. We're gonna to experiment. We're gonna see how it goes. Okay, I had to go change my shirt because when I was cutting the bamboo, I got into a pricker bush and there were prickers all up and down the side. And now my arm, you can't see it, that's fine, it's ugly. It's full of a rash from all those prickers. So I got some cortisone cream on here. I'm itching like crazy. Anyway, that's why I changed my shirt. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is um, select some bamboo stakes and put them in this container. This is a container that we bought a shrub or a tree in one time and I just keep all of these things. So this is about uh, halfway filled with soil. I'm going to put some bamboo stakes in there to form the basis of my form. So I was thinking about whether I should select uh, three, four, or five uh, stakes to make my support. Um, and four is kind of pleasing to the eye, but the I don't know. I'm just going to just play around. I think I'm thinking I'm going to go for an odd number because then as I'm weaving the willow branches around them, they will be over, under, over, under, over, under in a nice odd um, format. And I think that will make it more sturdy. But will it be as pretty? I don't know. We're going to experiment. All right. So I'm going to go pick out five, I'll start with five bamboo stakes that are roughly the same size as each other. I've got them all laid out here. Um, I'm going to sort them by size. So this is a big one. This is a big one. So I have three roughly the same size of big ones. Then I have, and this is a really small one, this is over there. Small one. Uh, Similar. Although this one gets smaller faster than some of the others. All right, how many do I have? I could always go get more, but I have three. One, two, three, four, five. And then these are all kind of flimsy at the top. That's three. And then these two are small. So if I wanted to do four supports, I could do that. And make two. If I wanted to do three supports, I could do that and make three. Uh, but I think I need at least 
four supports, maybe five. So let's start here. Do these five to get started. All right, so this guy doesn't want to stand up, so I'm going to tuck him in a little bit better. Stay in your place. This is not my finest hour, folks, but we're going to make it work. I need longer lips. But look, okay, I've made it all the way around. It's not perfect. I want this to be like that. I want this to come over here. That. Oh, there we go. That was smart. Use this bucket for goodness. Now, oh, I just broke it. Dang it. That's not what I wanted. This isn't working. All of you weavers out there are laughing. I know, I hear you. What I need are longer, more supple clips. This is just too too thick at this end and unbendable at this end. So I need this to, I need to all, I need longer ones that are about this thick. All right. So I'm going to cut off this end. I'm going to cut off this end right about here because this is just too strong and thick. Over there it goes. And this one will be workable, but I'll have it more up here or so. Actually, that part broke. So I'm going to just cut that off too. Alright, so now this is really short. And this will be used only at the top where I need them to be smaller around. Like that. Alright, I'm learning. I'm learning, folks. I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning. As we go here, you're watching it in real time. I'm going to go get some clamps so that I can hold these poles up against this pot so they don't move around while I'm working couldn't find any clamps. I'm going to use packing tape. Maybe this won't work. I don't know. We're going to find out. All right, we're going to put that in the good enough category. Now I need to find a long, 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 long branch. All right, I want to start that. In, out, in, go out. This one goes in, it's out. How am I going to keep that taut? So I need to wrap it around the outside, just on the outside first. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to twist that around there to tie that off. I'm going to try to do the same over here. Well, that'll work as a starting course, but I need <laughs> I need a bunch of branches that are at least as long as this one was, and I need to just build up a bunch of them. I think I'm going to leave all these side shoots on and see what that does 
into the structure. I think it'll actually make it more strong. I'm also gonna leave the leaves on and they'll just fall off on their own over time, like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna use this as one really big long rope and see how it does. And I started that one over there, so I'm gonna start this one over here. But I am gonna, I'm gonna be weaving this one. I'm not gonna just do around the outside. Tuck that there so that it stays. Use these side shoots to weave it around a little bit. Hold it together. I'm making this up, folks. This is probably not the best method. Uh, let's see, it's split here. So I'm gonna put one of them behind and one of them in front. This is gonna go outside. Okay, I'm gonna put one in front. I might end up having to tie off all of these at each of these things, but we're going to see. I ended up tying all five poles to the wreath at the bottom here um, so that uh, they'll stay together sturdy and strong. This twine is not going to last forever. I may end up coming back here with some wire in the future, but for this season, I think the twine will hold just fine. Now that I have the bottom layer done, the next thing I want to do is make another layer about right here, maybe a foot above the bottom, and about the same diameter. So I think I'm gonna probably have to tie it off. Uh, yeah, probably have to tie it to here so that it doesn't fall apart while I'm working with it, but we'll see.
right, that's roughly what I want, but I'm gonna have to tie off to get it to stay where I want.
Okay, so I've been working on this. I had to stop and restart. I had to redo. Uh, it might be done. I don't know. What do you think? Here at the top, I struggled with the top a lot. I ended up doing a temporary hold and then I wrapped this top layer and then I did a more permanent hold. This is not perfect. It's only simply wrapped around and I, I, I don't know what else to do. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And then I have one, two, three, four layers of rings. Uh, I tied the bottom two layers at every post. I just did a, you know, just a bad, I'm not a sailor, I don't know how to lash, but um, anyway, I mean, it's not bad. I'll stop down, downplaying it. I think it's actually kind of cool the way it turned out. As I went, I learned that it's better if I wrap each of the new layers around itself. So up here on this third layer, I started wrapping the branches around themselves in addition to wrapping around the poles. And I think it made for a stronger and eventually a prettier um, finished product. So this top one is the most wrapped. I don't know yet if I'm going to tie the top two with twine like I did the bottom two. I think I probably will just to be on the safe side. Um, so yeah. This is what I have. Kind of strange, kind of cool, kind of rustic, kind of messy. The leaves will brown up and fall off over time. And I don't mind that. And I don't mind these little twiggies hanging out. I think it makes it pretty. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what I have. I might wrap some uh, like this around up here just for a finishing touch. I don't know. What do you guys think? I should also mention that this bamboo does have this papery wrap on it and so far some of them have been taken off by me and some of them have been taken off by just working with it and I don't know if I'm going to take it all off or if I'm going to leave it all on. I'll probably just leave it on for a bit see what happens after they naturally weather but um, yeah I don't know I mean over time they'll dry and turn beige beigeish yellow so here it is I don't know what I had in my mind this is uh kind of kind of what I had in my mind I don't know it's growing on me I'm not entirely sure I love it wouldn't, oh, you know what would be cool if I put some dried flowers around it? Hey. If I turn these into dried flower wreaths and just tuck some dried flowers in amongst here, that would make it pretty. But, I mean, it's not supposed to be a beautiful garden art in terms of having flowers on it. It's supposed to serve as a support structure for vining flowers in the garden. So, I think maybe maybe i'll put some pretty things on it for now and then uh when i have a vining flower to grow on it maybe i'll do that i don't know anyway i decided to go ahead and tie all five of the poles onto each of the wreaths on the top the next one down and i had already done the bottom two so this should be nice and sturdy now i'm hoping i should go through and i will go through and trim off this twine and otherwise I don't know I don't know why I just want to the last step is to take off this tape so I can take this out of the pot all right I think I'm calling this a finished product so here comes a moment of truth I'm gonna pull this up out of the pot there we go driveway's crooked so that's why it's not standing straight. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that'll look nice in the garden. Whoa! So the feet on it are kind of pointing in. That's because of the way they were bent. So hopefully that won't be a problem when I go to use it.
hopefully sturdy enough. So these layers are somewhat adjustable. They're somewhat wonky. And as I push down on the legs, they get a little wonky, but I can adjust them up and down a little bit. So that's the idea anyway. So yeah, this is a totally free project. This is coming off of here. Don't worry about that. Oh. All right, well. It was a free project. I mean, I used some twine, which I had in my garden supplies. So not technically free, but pretty close to free. Uh, I got the branches from neighbors and friends and it's just time. It just took, it. well, it took some time, but it's pretty cool. It's a little wonky, but I think once I put it in the garden where I really want it, I'll jiggle it around and make sure that it's not misshapen and lean in one way or the other. You know what I mean? So there you have it. I hope that uh, this was inspiring to you. Maybe I inspired you to try it. Maybe I inspired you never to try anything like this at all. I don't know. But what I want to get across to you is, number one, go ahead and try things because you never know. All it is is uh, an investment of time. So take materials out of your garden, out of the gardens of your friends, and try to make things with them. See uh, what you can do. You, may, you never know. You might really surprise yourself and have something really special. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the project and I hope that you're having a wonderful day in your garden. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.